What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. Just saying. This is um, Cancer's reading for the sign of, well, for the sign of Cancer for December of 2021. This could resonate if you have Cancer in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy. Um, and the channel that I received was standing up for someone you care about is what I heard. So standing up for someone you care about. So I think that's you about to stand up for someone you're, you care about. Now, you care about them. So, you know, you truly care about them. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be um, someone you grew up with, it could be a neighbor, it could be a friend, it could be a co-worker, it could be anybody, just somebody you truly do care about, but you're about to stand up for someone you care about, and that's beautiful energy, um, you go through by itself, whoever that's for, um, this is a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest, um, it's a, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. everyone has free will. Only take the message to resonate. Or you said that, but I'm just saying. Okay. So two of cups reversed. Queen of swords reversed. A particular cancer is about to find out serious, serious, serious lies. Their partner has told them. For some, a married spouse. For some, someone they're dating. It's about to anger this cancer in a huge way. Because this cancer has really been very good to this partner. Oh my goodness. So you plug in and how it resonates. Wow. I'd be upset too. If this resonates with you, um, for some of you guys, you're dating somebody right now. For some, you are in a marriage contract. So you have legally binding marriage contract. You agree to the marriage contract. You're in a marriage with somebody. For some, for some, you are dating them. So you're just dating them. No marriage contract. But however that resonates, um, you're about to find out your partner, whether it's your dating partner or your married spouse, has been lying to you in huge ways. Um, and it's going to anger you because I heard you've been very good to them. So I'm assuming you haven't been cheating on them. You've been not lying to them. You've been straight with them. You, you've done what you needed to do on your end. You have been high vibrational. You um, Very high vibrational energy recently. Very. But the partner... Is, betray, is seriously betraying this this cancer. They're about to find it out. Oh, oh my God. Woo. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard you've been high, very high, high vibrational to them. So you've been very straight with them, up front with them. Um, no lies, um, manipulation. I mean, you've been very straight up front um, with them, basically. Um, everybody's situation is different. So but you've been very straight and upfront and very good to them, basically. Um, you haven't been lying to them, whoever you're, uh, this is for. But they've been lying to you. I heard serious betrayal here. You're about to find it out. For some, you are legally married to them. For some, um, you are dating them. So you plug it in how it resonates. But the ones that are dating this person, whoever you are, it's good that you're going to find out now before they manipulate you into a marriage. And I'm serious about that. So it's good that you're about to find it out while you're just dating them is what I'm saying. So um, even though it's going to be hard to take and sucky, just saying, just saying. But the ones that um, you're legally married to them, woo, just saying, yikes. So this is the light energy, betrayal and light energy of your um, either married spouse or dating partner, two of cups reversed. Not much love there after you find out um, the betrayal. I'm assuming, because I heard you've been very good to them. So you haven't been, you've been upright to them. You've been upright to them. They have not been to you. Yikes. Spirit messages, you have a sign of cancer. Yeah. 
For one, an engagement will be called off. Okay, I heard for one, an engagement will be called off. So, ooh, one, an engagement will be called off. So, for one, you're married. One, you're dating. One, you're engaged, apparently. Because one, an engagement will be called off because of this. Oh, my goodness. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Justice reversed. The high priest is reversed. A particular cancer has been avoiding a Leo feminine for strategic reasons. However, many series of shame events are about to occur that's about to bring these two together. This cancer is about to have a huge wake-up call. Positive wake-up call. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if this resonates with you, I heard you've been avoiding a Leo fem. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thobe, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But you've been strategically, for you, Cancer, whoever you are. Sorry, my hair. I really need a haircut. I just do. Um, whoever you are, um, you've been strategically avoiding a Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thobe, and Hammer, Jupiter. It could be anybody. Um, whoever this Leo fem is, your, and it is in your life. It could be a neighbor, a friend, a family member a co-worker, uh, um, fam uh, whoever, anybody, 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 um, a spouse, a partner, uh, a dating partner, Beyonce, whoever, but um, you've been avoiding them for strategic reasons, but I heard basically um, you're about to have a huge positive wake-up call, and through many, well, you've been avoiding them for strategic reasons, but through many series of chain of events, sounds like you're about to have a huge wake-up call, and it's about to bring you two together. Um, yeah, I was trying to make sure I had the message right. Yeah. So, um, you plug it in, however that resonates. Wow. Okay. So no justice in the situation right now, because, um, I feel you have not had a wake up call yet, but you're about to, um, it's regarding a Leo fem energy. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem and hammer, Jupiter charts, but it sounds like you're about to have the wake up call soon. And it's going to bring you and this Leo fem together. Now I feel it's communication. Or it could uh, feel it's communication for a lot of you guys. Or it could be face-to-face. -face, um, or phone call, a text, a uh, face-to-face, um, a meeting, a uh, interview, uh, um, meet, uh, whatever. Um, appointment. I mean, I don't know. Some kind of bringing together of you and this Leo Fem in some shape, form, or fashion. But there's no justice in the situation right now because um, you've been strategically avoiding them. Because uh, your intuition has not been on point with situation or situations. But I heard you're about to have a huge wake-up call. And many series of chain of events are going to occur. And it sounds like it's about to happen soon. So you plug it in. How that resonates? If that res resonates for you. Let's do one more. Spirit messages you have sonic answer. Queen of Pentacles upright, the Hermit reversed. A Cancer is about to learn of a Taurus Capricorn Virgo Feminine's affair at work. For some, they work in the in a school system. For some manufacturing. For some health care. Oh my goodness. Ooh, so you plug in how it resonates. If this resonates for you, Cancer, um, I heard you're about to learn of a Taurus Capricorn Virgo's affair at work. Uh, for some of these Taurus Capricorn Virgos, um, they work in healthcare. For some, they work in manufacturing, and for some, they work in a school system in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But it's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Fem energy. They're having an affair 
it sounds like at work. It sounds like at work. Uh, for some, they're like I said, they work in the school system. For some, they work in healthcare. For some, they work in manufacturing. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, for some, this could be your spouse or the dating partner or the fiance. For some, this could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, uh, somebody you grew up with. However, that resonates. But it's some kind of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Fem energy that's having a uh, workplace affair. So you plug it in however that resonates, but you're about to learn of it soon. It sounds like you haven't learned of it yet, but you're about to. So um, this is your Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Fem energy, whoever they are and how they apply to your life. Um, it could, so for some, it could be a family member. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my gosh, my hair. And um, you were enlightened of the situation in the past, um, but you're about to be enlightened of it soon, basically. Um, you were not going within and self-reflecting about the situation, but you're about to have a huge wake-up call because it sounds like you're about to learn it from somebody. So um, you plug it in how, however that resonates. Woo! All right. I did these for um, Libras, and I, I will pull you one, but I feel guided to do uh, a moon cycle too for y'all for some reason. Um, I haven't been doing them for all the signs, but I do feel guided to do y'all a moon cycle, so I'm going to do a moon cycle. Spirit messages you have signed of cancer. <laughs> wow, change, yeah. Wow. And a lot of change here. A lot of change. Um, but it sounds like it's going to be good change for the most part. Um, because who wants to be stuck in um, betrayal partnerships? Who wants to be stuck in betrayal par partnerships? Whether it's fiance, a spouse, or a dating partner. Who wants that? Um, nobody. Nobody. Change. You're about to learn of this affair, of this choice of Capricorn Virgo, whoever this person is to you, this femme energy. Workplace affair, either in their school system, in their manufacturing workplace, or, their, or they work in healthcare, however that resonates. And um, change as far as communication with the Leo fam, however that resonates for you. A lot of change energy here. Spirit messages you have a sign of cancer. A cancer is about to find out about a Virgo of a Leo feminine's past. They did not know about this person. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard a cancer is about to learn about a Virgo of a Leo feminine's past. They did not know about this Virgo. So um, if this resonates with you, you somebody is pulling in some heavy Leo feminine energy. Um, whoever this Leo Femme is, is in your life. Um, like I said, it could be a partner, past partner, a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, um, family member, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But somebody's pulling in some heavy Leo Femme energy, whoever this Leo Femme is in your life. But um, whoever that message is for, it's a Virgo of a Leo Femme's past, but you're about to learn of this Virgo. Whoever this Virgo is to this Leo Femme, uh, you're about to learn of them soon. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, Cancer. For some, it's going to shock you. For some, you will be upset. Because there are true feelings there. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, I heard for some, this will shock you. So for some, the news of the Leo Fem and the Virgo of the past will shock you. Um, and for some, it's going to upset you, the news of the Virgo of the Leo Fem's past, because there are true feelings there. So the Leo Fem, it's, well, it sounds like it's mutual. It sounds like the Leo Fem and the Virgo have feelings for each other, or they did have feelings for each other, or somebody's going to display feelings towards the other person and they're going to realize it's mutual possibly you plug it in how it resonates but it's going to upset you if that particular message resonates with you because you realize there are feelings there so feelings either between one person or it's mutual or there was feelings in the past or however that resonates it is the virgo of the leo fems past so for some of these leo fems they might not have feelings for them now 
but they might have in the past, but you didn't know that, how that resonates. Okay, so for change. Big changes coming for many cancers. A lot of cancers are about to create these changes. Some to benefit themselves, for some to help another and others out, for some a family. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So I heard big changes coming for a lot of you guys. Um, for a lot of you guys, you're creating these changes on your own. So you are um, creating the change. You are going to create the change. You're going to be the change. Uh, for some, it's to help yourself out. For some to help another out and for some to help a family out. So lots of change energy. But um, in this situation, you are going to help create the change. You're going to be the manifester, the change maker, the um, the um, change, the game player, basically. For a lot of you guys, um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Rainbow, waterfall, miracles. For some, it's to help your family out. Okay, I heard for some is to help your family out. So for some is to help yourself out. For some is to help another out. For some is to help another family out. For some is to help your family out. For some, you could resonate with one of these. For some, you could resonate with two plus. You plug it in how it resonates. Lots of change energy. Miracles. A huge miracle is about to happen in a cancer's life. And one cancer is going to be a miracle in a court case. If it gets that far. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so I heard a cancer is uh, huge, some kind of miracle energy going to happen in a particular cancer's life. So some kind of miracle energy, um, which is beautiful. For some, you're about to realize somebody completely heals from a condition. For some, you're going to completely heal from a condition. Holy crap. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. So for one of you guys, you're going to completely heal from a condition I heard. Completely heal. So whatever in the world condition you have, that could be, however that resonates, that could span a million different ways for a million different people. For, but at least one of you guys is are going to, go, come, going to completely heal from a condition. That's miracle energy if I've ever heard it. And for one of you guys, um, somebody else is about to completely heal from a condition of the past so for one of you guys you're going to completely heal from a condition of the past and for one of you guys you're i tell that you're about to learn of somebody that's about to completely heal of a condition from the past and that's beautiful miracle energy for sure for sure for sure that's beautiful one cancer is about to deal with saint jude's but positive energy here Okay, I heard one cancer is about to deal with St. Jude's, but positive energy here. So St. Jude's is basically, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, St. Jude's is um, the cancer center. Um, I think it's the cancer center. Um, it's a, um, a very popular cancer center um, for children. Um, but I heard positive energy here. So that might be the healing energy, the miracle energy for one of you guys, maybe there's a child that has cancer that you're dealing with, either your child or somebody you're connected to's child that has cancer possibly, and they're about to completely heal. And maybe they've been visiting St. Jude's or they are admitted to St. Jude's or they have been outpatienting at St. Jude's. However that resonate, but some kind of miracle energy. I heard positive energy here. So there's gonna be, some, it sounds like some kind of positive energy at St. Jude's. That could be the miracle energy as well, possibly. Uh, for some, you could work at St. Jude's, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. You could be a doctor, a nurse, a uh, um, CNA, um, a healthcare professional, some shape, form, or fashion. For some, you could work at St. Jude's. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. And I heard for one of you guys, too, you're going to um, also... Um, 
be a miracle in somebody else's life in a court case if it even gets there. So one of you guys is about to, um, it sounds like help somebody out. It sounds like be a witness in a court case, uh, free willingly. And I heard it's going to help, um, this person out with the court case in a huge way if it gets there. So it sounds like whoever this is, um, they don't even want it to get there in the court, like in the court of law. But it sounds like you are going to step up and be a miracle to the person and testify for them or be a witness for them in some shape, form, or fashion. But it sounds like it's going to put the pressure on the other party because the other party doesn't want it to even get to the court case, but they don't for specific reasons. Um, but you were integral in this to be the miracle to this person to go be willing to even be a witness and to testify is what it sounds like. And I think that's what's going to create the change too. Because I heard if it even gets there. So I think you being willing to step up and be the witness and to testify in the court of law for this person is going to create change and pressure on the other end is what I think for at least one of you guys. So you plug it in how that resonates. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. But number 35 or 31 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, some shape, form, or fashion. 35 or 31, those could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social security number, possible um, green card number, um, possible um, jersey number, 35 or 31. It also could be significant numbers, significant reoccurring numbers you're seeing out on bill billboards or apps advertisements 35 or 31. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share the videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.